Being so close to the Grand Canyon, this place brings in millions of visitors a year. But the quest for giant mule deer is what brought us here. We'd talked to some friends that have hunted here before, and everyone told us the Kaibab archery hunt is extremely hard. If you get an opportunity, make it count. You guys think this is phlegmatic? We literally didn't sleep all night. Our flight took off at 5 a.m. I think this might be the first time in my adult life that I've worn an all-nighter. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our hotel tonight and shoot our bows a little bit, and then we're gonna try to get out and scout. Let's go. Our work schedule only allowed us to get in just one day before season. So we got up early and used this time to learn the area and scout. That morning we glassed up several bucks. There was one buck in particular that I glassed up and had my heart set on. He was heading into an aspen thicket about an hour after daylight with some smaller bucks. Our plan was to hunt him, so we were coming back to this spot in the morning. Squirrel with a white tail. Like, I've never seen anything like it. Seriously. Where do you get out of line? I'm not. You'll see. Go back. Look over here. Hold on, I gotta Off get this on film. Filming. Like, literally, go track him down. Fun fact, this is the Kaibab Squirrel. It lives in the Kaibab Plateau in an area of about 20 to 40 miles. Because of this unique species, this part of the Kaibab Plateau is actually a national landmark. We had about a 30 minute drive to our spot, but as soon as we got there, there were trucks side by sides and four wheelers pulled over everywhere. The chance of going after our target buck was virtually zero. We ran into multiple other hunters in the area within the first hour. So we had to change our game plan, leave this spot until the hunting pressure let up and move to another area. For the next five days, the pressure from all the other hunters made it hard to turn up a 180s. But after the first seven days, the majority of the other hunters had left.
wasn't ready to let go of our target buck. So we decided that we were gonna go back to that spot in the morning and give it another chance. I set up at daylight and glass the entire hillside and sure enough, there he was. And they were on their way down the hill, feeding through the aspens into a drainage. We had to move fast. I started filming on my phone. He shoots. hard work. Maybe less. There's Let's blood go. everywhere. days left in our hunt and I still had a tag to fill. The next morning, I immediately spotted a group of shooters. Britt set up on the glass and I made my way in. As soon as I walked over this hill and pulled my binos up, I saw shooters. And then I made a dart for it over the hill. 
exactly what I thought they would do. I was set up like 80 yards, but just at that time, the sun was kind of coming out, so I couldn't really get any closer, and I was just kind of betting on them to step out, just decide to back out, and come back to the start again, and try to go out and get eyes on them. We decided to go to an area that we'd seen a lot of deer heading into, and today, something felt different. We set up about a mile into our hike and on the edge of an open field. This is it, my opportunity. Make it count. I fell in love with the Kaibab. It tested us, but it also rewarded us. As hunters, we seek more than just trophies. It's about the connection with nature, the challenge, the memories that we make together, and the lifelong friends that we meet along the way. Here's to the Kaibab.